Kaya Gerber is a model and actress who is also the daughter of 90s supermodel Cindy Crawford and businessman Randy Gerber. Her career began at 10 with Versace and it has taken off over the last few years. She has also moved into acting with an appearance in the movie Babylon and a role in the upcoming movie Bottoms. She agrees that her career has certainly been helped by the status of her parents. But she also said with acting, it's so different. No artist is going to sacrifice their vision just for someone else's kid. But Kaya Gerber has had instant access to the highest levels of modeling and also grown up in circles of Hollywood elites, which means nepotism has played a big part in her career. Hailey Bieber is also an American model who is also a socialite too. She has been featured in major ads for Guess, Ralph Lauren, and Tommy Hilfiger. Her father, Stephen Baldwin, and her three uncles, Alec, Daniel, and William, are well-known actors. And Haley offered a silent take on the nepotism issue when she stepped out in a cropped white tee with the words Nepo Baby on it. In 2005, at age nine, Baldwin appeared by the side of her family in the television documentary, Live In It, Unusual Suspects. And in 2009, she made an appearance on the TV show SNL by the side of her uncle, Alec Baldwin. Haley was also able to meet Justin Bieber back in 2009. They were introduced by Haley's father, Stephen Baldwin, when he took her backstage at the Today Show. Little did he know at the time that he was introducing his future son-in-law to his daughter. Teenage Haley had a huge crush on Justin and was a big fan of his music, and this is what led to their eventual marriage in 2018. Dakota Johnson is a natural when it comes to acting, but it's pretty much in her blood. The Fifty Shades of Grey star is the daughter of actors Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith. She was no stranger to film sets and premieres thanks to her parents. This gave her the push to follow in their footsteps. In 1999, Johnson made her film debut in Crazy in Alabama, where she and her half-sister Stella Banderas played daughters to their real-life mother, Melanie Griffith. The film was directed by her stepfather, Antonio Banderas. In 2006, she was chosen as Miss Golden Globe, and she served as the first second generation Miss Golden Globe. Johnson's breakout finally came in 2015, when she was cast as Anastasia Steele in the erotic film trilogy, Fifty Shades of Grey. Maya Hawk is a young actress who happens to be the daughter of actors Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawk. She began her career in modeling and made her acting debut in 2017 as Jo March in the BBC adaptation of Little Women. She later broke out with her performance as Robin Buckley in the third season of Netflix's Stranger Things. She has also guest starred in the Showtime miniseries The Good Lord Bird alongside her father. Maya Hawke has said that having famous parents comes with massive advantages in life, but that she works hard and doesn't take it for granted. Willow and Jaden Smith have both established themselves as multi-talented creatives. Jaden started out as an actor at just eight years old, and Willow broke out with the song Whip My Hair when she was 10. The children of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith have always been known for their nepotism. Jaden's film debut was with his father in the 2006 film The Pursuit of Happiness, and he again appeared with his father in the 2013 film After Earth. Willow made her acting debut in 2007 in the film I Am Legend, also with her father. And since 2018, Willow has been co-hosting Red Table Talk, the Facebook talk show alongside her grandmother, Adrian Banfield Norris, and her mother, Jada Pinkett Smith. Known for her role as Lexi in Euphoria, Maud Apatow and her sister Iris are actually nepotism great-grandkids, if that's even a thing. Their mother is actress Leslie Mann, and their father is Judd Apatow, the comedian, director, producer, and screenwriter. And his grandfather is Bob Shad, who was a record producer and record label owner. Maud began acting at the age of seven with a role in her father's movie, The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Although her scenes did not make it in the final cut, she later appeared in another one of his movies, Knocked Up, which featured her in a more prominent role. But Maud was determined to prove that she is more than just a Nepo baby and branched out into the world of an edgy teen drama with the HBO series Euphoria, which has received critical acclaim mostly for the young actors and their performances. Mm -hmm. 
Lily Rose Depp is the daughter of the actor, producer, and musician Johnny Depp and the French singer, actress, and model Vanessa Paradis. She certainly takes after her mother in her career choices too, having walked many runways and broken out into films in France. She fronted her first campaign for Chanel at 16, and by 2017, she graduated to the Chanel runway after being handpicked by Karl Lagerfeld. In June 2019, Lily Rose starred alongside her aunt, Alison Paradis, in the French independent short film, My Last Lullaby. Lily Rose has also responded to people on the internet calling her a nepotism baby by saying, if somebody's mom or dad is a doctor and then the kid becomes a doctor, you're not going to say you're only a doctor because of your parents. The comparison doesn't quite hold up though because the qualifications to become a doctor requires more than just a name and good looks. Tracy Ellis Ross, known for her lead roles in Girlfriends and Blackish, is descended from music royalty, being the daughter of none other than the great Diana Ross. Tracy was a standout among her siblings, having modeled at a young age. As a preteen, she was once photographed and painted by Andy Warhol. Ross made her big screen debut in 1996, playing a Jewish African American woman in the independent film Far Harbor. Her mother, Diana Ross, might not be a pushy stage mom, but that doesn't stop her from telling the world about how proud she is of her daughter's achievements. The ex Supreme went to great lengths to share her joy that her daughter had won a Golden Globe and was nominated for numerous Emmy Awards. Talented siblings Maggie and Jake Gyllenhaal are both firm fixtures in Hollywood, with both earning critical acclaim for their work. Their parents are also legends in the world of film. Their mother Naomi is a screenwriter and director, and father Stephen is also a director. Maggie began her career as a teenager with small roles in several of her father's films, and appeared with her brother in the cult classic Donnie Darko. As a child, Jake was exposed to filmmaking due to his family's ties to the industry. He made his acting debut as Billy Crystal's son in the 1991 comedy City Slickers. In an adorable display of sibling love, Jake remembers that he would go to see Maggie when she was acting in high school plays, and that his admiration for her acting stemmed from that. Following in her footsteps, he slowly started to become interested in acting, and from there they began appearing in films together in small roles, before each headed off to forge their own path. Goop founder and actor Gwyneth Paltrow has certainly carved out a generous space for herself in the wellness world following her pivot out of acting, for which she gained critical acclaim for roles in Emma, Shakespeare in Love, and Sliding Doors. But her parents were acclaimed filmmakers in their own right. Her mother, actress Blythe Danner, received two primetime Emmys and a Tony Award, and her father was the director and producer Bruce Paltrow. Her career beginnings can be credited to her acting family, as she debuted in 1989 in one of her father's TV movies. She also spent several summers watching her mother perform at the Williamstown Theatre Festival in Massachusetts. Gwyneth made her own professional stage debut there in 1990. Her film debut followed with the musical romance Shout in 1991, starring John Travolta, and she was cast by her godfather Steven Spielberg in the movie Hook, also in 1991. Clearly she had her fair share of nepotism, but Gwyneth Paltrow has claimed that Hollywood nepo babies have to work harder to prove themselves, but still admits the initial connections allow unfair access. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and maybe even consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this playlist, and then visit the channel to search the Recollection Road Library. As always, thank you so much for watching.